Yeah, yeah. these are difficult. Yeah. These are difficult. Don't worry too much if you don't get them straight away. So there's certain other non-cash items here. And then the next section is the movement in the inventories, receivables, and payables. And I like to call these items the cash conversion cycle. In any business, there's a cash conversion cycle. You might like to write that down. Whatever business you're looking at, whether it's small, medium, or large, there will be a cash conversion cycle which revolves around the debtors or receivables. Debtors are people who owe money to the business, yeah? So the trick in business is trying to collect these receivables in quickly because that will benefit your cash flow. The next one is the stock or the inventory. How quickly can we turn the stock over in the business because that will affect the cash conversion cycle. And then the third one is the payables or the trade creditors. These are three key impacts uh, on the cash flow. We used to call this section the working capital, but it's a little bit confusing. It's better to talk about it, I think, in terms of cash conversion cycle, because some businesses will have a very fast cash conversion cycle. Walmart, for example, or your Chinese. Super, U, Super U retail store. Chinese. Chinese restaurant, I guess so, yeah. Or the Chinese shop. Or the fastest one of all is the man selling coconuts on Cabbage Beach. Yeah. Why? He didn't have anybody owing him any money. No. The stock, he turns it over quick. Yeah, that's he doesn't even pay for it, it falls off the tree. Uh -huh. It doesn't fall off, he shakes the tree. It still doesn't fall off, he climbs the tree and cuts that's it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then creditors, okay. yeah, he has none, so that would be an extremely quick, yeah. it's extremely quick cash flow. Think of a manufacturing business, a uh, factory making shirts or something. They're going to be selling to different stores and things. So they've got to have collect receivables in. The stock will be in the factory, will be raw materials, work in progress, finished goods. So there's going to be lots of stock. And then, of course, they will owe the suppliers for raw materials, stuff like that. So these are key things here. Okay? And they'll be different in different businesses. So in terms of the cash flow, we treat these next, and then in this particular style of presentation, underline that word. Right. When we look at tax in the income statement, here, this is a tax assessment, isn't it? It's a tax assessment based on profits. This is actually in the cash flow statement, it's tax that's actually paid. Now don't get a shock when you see that figure does not equal this figure. Why? Because there'll be certain timing differences and maybe some tax allowances, yeah? Sometimes it will be the same, but most of the time it won't be. Okay? So this is the first section. Everybody alright with that so far in the first room. So we get to there 452. Right.